Hello, my name is Brian. I'm a tech support rep. Today I'll be explaining how to take apart, clean, and troubleshoot a valve that continuously waters. The only tool you'll need for this job is a screwdriver. Before cleaning your valve, it is extremely important to understand that you need to turn your main water supply off. Simply turn your ball valve or whatever main shutoff you have to your irrigation system. The first thing I've done is I've come to the valve box and located the valve that continuously is watering. The first thing I'll do is I'll loosen up all the screws on the top of the bonnet. Once I have all the screws loose, I'll simply remove the bonnet of the valve. We want to ensure that our diaphragm is nice and clean and that there's no tears or rip marks in the diaphragm. That'll cause the valve to not close properly. Once we ensure that this is clean and in good condition, we'll set that aside. We can simply take out this support ring. As you can see, there's a rock inside of the valve. This is what was causing our valve to continuously water. What we need to do is get that rock out. An easy way to do it is to simply turn your main water feed back on for a split second to let this rock pass. We can also use our hands and simply remove the debris that we found inside the valve. We've now ensured that there's no debris. The valve should now operate cleanly. So what we'll do is we'll reinsert the support ring inside the valve. We'll reinsert the diaphragm. Make sure that everything is seated properly inside the valve. We'll then insert the spring, take your bonnet, and reinsert it onto the top of the valve, ensuring that it is seated correctly. We'll then simply tighten all of the screws. Once your hunter valve is cleaned and put back together, now you're ready to turn on your main water, close the lid, and you're set to go.